Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. And today, again, it's a two for one. This is going to be my review and recap for Dracula season two. Season, no, so no, it's not season two. It's episode, season four, episode two. Now, you see I'm barefaced it. Um, yeah, so this is good. I'm going to get ready, do a get ready with me. So, while I'm reviewing and recapping and watching the show, I just saw the biggest fly in the whole world. He's going to die before this is over with. Um, but yeah, we're going to gonna put some makeup on his face while I watch the show. So, it's a two for one. I hope you like it. Let's jump into it. Okay, can I just say I am a thousand percent here for this beach party, bing, nightmare beach, bingo, vampire vignette. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that fly. Uh, I am a thousand percent here for that. I was, I, I genuinely enjoyed that. I genuinely enjoyed that vignette. <laughs> not is that a human let's go rip her throat out like i appreciate they made a lot more sense than the first one the first one i was a little confused about in the beginning of the first episode but this one made absolute sense to me and it was well executed i really enjoyed the <laughs> the opening vignettes We back in the um one I don't know if I this foundation is I feel like I look green, but I could be it could be tripping. But Mary Cherry, who I was kind of fond of why you gotta be a jackass though? talk about some oh Astrid was like well I won the first challenge she was like yeah everybody was like yay congratulations Mary Cherry was like yeah I'm glad that you they saw it before your outfit started to fall apart just you just couldn't say congratulations and move on you just <sighs> okay so again Mary Cherry it's Daughter, if you have to say that you're, if you have to say some that you're something, not Lavazetta tried to Nicki Minaj, Miley Cyrus, according to Beaver. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tickle. He said so since we was talking big game, Sigourney, what's good? You know what? Okay, babies. This is season four. They, I have learned that they certain things and certain mannerisms get used, certain views and looks and more fans. But this is sending me, Jesus. <laughs> it was good. Bitch, what you going to do? You not going to fight that one. <laughs> Yo, a lot just happened. A lot just happened. Okay, so they get called out to the main stage to get there. So they get called out to the main floor show. And, of course, the Boule brothers are out there. And they say, well, welcome back to the competition. And, you know, I know y'all said uh, uh, one of y'all getting killed. But, you know, that just means that you're closer to winning the money. Blah, 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 blah. So they go into the main challenge. The main challenge, of course, is the Nosferatu uh, beach party. Um, for the Fleur show, they have to do like a beach party, vampire beach party duet choreographed with another competitor. And I was thinking to myself, that's weird. There's going to be one less, one person that doesn't have somebody to do their duet with. Oh, but no. So they say to Saint, well, welcome back, Saint. He won resurrection. Um, and so, but you didn't close the door behind you hard enough and somebody. And so 
they said somebody from the competition slithered back in. And so y'all have a new competitor. We feel like your time on season two was cut short. Please welcome back Dolly. Dolly is Astrid Arulia's drag mama. So Astrid, of course, is... Bear with me. I had technical difficulties. One of my cameras completely went out. And I was like, what the hell? Okay, so. I just blinked again. I'm going to have to buy a new kit. Damn it. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm at the. There's a short in it or something. Something's going wrong. Okay. All right, so. There like is, I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by technology, Astrid Arulia is excited for her drag mama to be here. Now, then they say, because we not done yet with the Fula La, the Boulay brothers then say to the competitors, okay, for your fright feet this week, we are going to give you a big head of garlic and a glass of pig blood to chug down. Whoever finishes the garlic and the pig blood first gets to pick the groups of who's going to be together. And I guess, um, and maybe the order in which they compete. I think, I think that's how that goes. But, child, everybody looking crazy in the face. I too would be looking crazy in the face. Um, if they was like, oh yeah, by the way, you got to chug down. I lose. I don't have to pick. It's fine. Okay, so now we're about to go into the Fright Feet and see who's going to win that. It's a whole lot. I don't know that that's what I would listen. I would just lose <laughs> personally. <laughs> but we're going to see what happens. Let's get into it. Okay, so they get back to the boudoir and they're like, how do you feel? And of course, Astrid is over the moon about her mama being in the competition. And there's a little banter about, I'm going to send you home first, whatever, whatever. That's super cute. Um, then they go to the Fright Feast and chugging this blood and um, garlic. Okay, so they get the, the one of the, I don't know, who the, the little people. I don't want to call them the pit crew because the wrong show. But for lack of a better term, one of the pit crew blows a whistle and they start to eat and chug and eat and chug. People are gagging, making noises. They didn't even peel the garlic. They just handed them a head of garlic. Child. And so they chug it all down and La Zavaleta wins the challenge. She sucks it all down with no issues and she wins. So now she's about to put people in groups. I don't have a good feeling about this. I feel like some people is about to get the short end of the stick, but okay, we gonna see. What so first, La Zavaleta picks um, Saint to be her partner. Cool, not a problem. The next pairing, La Zavaleta takes Mary Cherry and puts her with Coco Cane. Um, Coco Kane doesn't seem that thrilled with the pairing, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay, first, forgive the clear grass cutting that's happening. Oh, he's literally cutting the bush right outside my window. Um, okay, so Sigourney and Astrid are together, and then Hoso and Dolly are together. Those two pairings should be fine. Should be. Emphasis on should be. The last pairing. The last pairing is Betty and Jade. Um, which they're fine with. Everybody's fine with it. 
uh, there doesn't seem to be any malice in the pairings. Uh, so we gonna see how everybody gets along and how it works. I can I I don't know why I can just feel in my spirit. This ain't gonna turn out how they think it is. So is Mary Cherry's middle name Drama and Shade? Because I feel like daughter just she just she stayed. Because they ask you, do y'all have any pairings, you know, that you think may not work well together or it might be an issue or anything. And they say Astrid and Sigourney Beaver and Mary Cherry. Because Mary is un bumbling under her breath. Well, just y'all because, and that's only because Sigourney Beaver was talking shit about you. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. That was unnes unnecessary. But we're going to see. We're going to see how this works. I can't wait for this floor show because I feel like it's going to be a whole lot. And, and it's going to be super extra. And I like that kind of shit. in the last clip of the level of confusion on my baby that was that was that seemed that that was a lot that was that was that was a lot yeah that was that's all I got that was a lot I, I felt like Everybody was winging it. Nobody had like a set course of what they were supposed to be doing. And so it kind of came off chaotic. Which I don't know if that's what they were planning. <laughs> it's not a real review unless my grandson barge in. Uh, it felt real chaotic and... and like we're gonna see how the judging how they feel in the judging portion of this but this felt real chaotic and we'll see so the boule brothers had a whole meeting before the meeting so before they say before the judges come in you know let's nobody knows our monsters like we know our monsters let's have a little conversation and they discuss mary and how she has this legendary status in brooklyn but how they think she got locked into her head and all of these things and then they talked about oh i hit pan Okay, I'm sorry. Talked about Betty and how they think she, this, this, the sun may be coming up on her vampire beach party because her wig fell off and she just, she looked, they said she looked scared and not confident about what she was doing and what she had going on. So, we will see. We will see what happens at the judging. Hmm. Also, they said La Zavaleta is on the top. So, that is also a thing that happened. Okay, so the safe queens this week are Sigourney Beaver, J. Jolie, and Mary Cherry. And before they let Mary Cherry off the stage, they asked her they asked mary cherry how she thinks her floor show went and 
you know, they give her a little pep talk about how that's part of your charm. Is normally your best stuff is when stuff doesn't go the way it's planned. You know, get out of your head, blah, 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 blah. And they, because I think they really see it. They really, really see it for Mary. And they told her that she made the right choice being that she was the only person who wasn't a vampire. She was this ang anglerfish hybrid vampire of the sea situation. And they was like, it was the perfect choice for you to bake. So get out of your head. You know, when things go wrong for you, that's when normally things go right. So that's what they got for her. Now we're going to see who's in the top and who's in the bottom. So La Zavaletta Hoso, so, Hoso, um, La Zavaletta Saint. Hold on. Sheesh. I can't remember the fourth person who was in the top. Hold on. Dolly was the fourth person. So it's Dolly, Hoso, La Zavaletta, and Saint were the top four. And Saint won the challenge, which leaves Betty, Astrid, Coco Cane. I don't think Coco Cane is going to be in the bottom. Um, one, two, three, seven, ten. Yeah, that's right. Those three in the bottom. So it's going to be Astrid and Betty in the bottom. So let's get to this extermination situation. All right. So before we get to the interior delusion lounge and the backstage happenings in the cauldron, um, the extermination challenges, they're going to be put into a thing full of leeches to let them suck off of their blood. Uh, no, thank you. I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I would not be good at this at all. Because I'm not trying to do any of, none of the things, none of the things. Do you hear me? None of the things. I'm not trying to do any of the things. None of them. Not not as every single one. I don't want you to bury me alive. I'm not eating the the garlic and drinking the pig's blood. I'm definitely not um, going to let you put me in a vat of leeches. Uh-uh. I don't so... Astrid has a full on meltdown about how she's supposed to be here and she shouldn't have been in the bottom and all of these things. Betty is quietly trying to compose herself, but she's emotional because she doesn't want to go home either. Um, Coco Kane was like, I hope this puts some humbleness into you going forward if you come back because you was apparently doing the most. Um... This is a lot. And then Astrid was like, it's not even about the looks or about the performance. It's how much of a fucking mo monster you are. And Mary pop, pipes up from the corner. It's like, oh, darling, it's kind of about the looks too. Baby, it's, it's, it is also about the look. And at this exact moment is when Ebony knew she was messed up. I can't believe it. I'm such a klutz. Jesus Christ on the cross. <laughs> okay. So clearly, I shouldn't be talking about people bumbling. Clearly the Lord said shut up. Because cause you can be humbled as well. All right. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and then, um, my hair is now gone to pot. I'll figure it out before this is over with. Uh, so Avaletta pulls Hoso to the side, because Hoso is upset because her and Astrid, is it her and Astrid? Hoso and Astrid are kind of a thing, and... Uh, Hoso is very upset and La Zavaletta is like, well, I just don't want you to trip over the same rock that she tripped over. You know, you're here to represent, uh, 
yourself in South Korea and focus on that and stuff. And I know it's upsetting to see her upset, but don't let it drag you down as well. And then she was like, don't tell anybody I was over here expressing emotions. Let's get to the extermination challenge and see who gets gone. So I can put on some dry pants. <laughs> and not Zavaletta being the voice of reason this week. Which she essentially had a whole conniption fit last week. But because she's in the top, I guess she can see uh, the differences, the nuances in it now. Oh, God. Even she, and she had to get Astrid together because Astrid was like, I deserve to be here. And some people are here and I don't even know why they're here. And Zavaletta was like, uh, don't do that. Everyone deserves to be here and deserves a chance to try and win as well. But don't, don't, don't dismiss everybody else just because you in the bottom now and you and your feelings about it, boo-boo. That's not, that's not what we want to do today. Um, so... They're just putting their forearm into um, them. They put their forearm in like a fish tank full of leeches. I don't understand how Betty got a leash in bet like on her stomach in between her titties. Like that part wasn't even in the water. How did they even, how did they get there? Nobody's supposed to be there. Uh, I can't, I am, they're so dramatic. <laughs> her arm is not even in the water at this point and she's pulling a leech from in between her titties. I don't get, I don't, what? How did this happen? I don't know. Okay, so Astrid was eliminated and they tied it back to the beginning vignette when they said they saw a human and they were gonna go rip her throat out and they ended up killing it. Astrid ended up being the human that came onto the Nosferatu beach party and ended up getting got. So, <laughs> I kinda, yeah, after that meltdown, I kinda saw the writing on the wall for Miss Astrid, even though she won the very first. Yeah, we, we, we kinda saw that, especially when she had the huge meltdown in the cauldron and was telling people they don't deserve to be there and blah, 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 blah all that good stuff. So, um, and she won the first challenge. So clearly, you, listen, that doesn't help you if you fumble the next time around. So that was my review and recap of Dracula season four, episode two, Nosferatu Beach Party. Um, please, sirs and ma'ams, like, comment, subscribe, who you got your money on um, to win this whole thing. I, listen, I, between Coco Kane and Saint, I, I, don't, I don't know where to place my money, but I just, those are my two top two. Tell me who is in your top, who's in your bottom, who do you think is going to go home next. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a can. And I will catch you in the next one. Also, this is the face. This is the face for today. Get into it. There will be pictures on Instagram. As you know, follow me there. Um, I think my lives may be suspended until I until this next week. Um, I think I have to purchase a new camera. So... We'll we'll see what that's about. Thank y'all for hanging out. And I will see y'all later for something else. Peace.